Shall we begin? God, it's early 6.30. Got myself ready to go. It's five minutes to seven now. I planned on being there at seven o'clock. I'll make it time to spare probably. Because I don't do nothing slow. Sorry, it's dark, but uh That's so what happens and oh my god, it's early. Uh, now I gotta figure out how I'm gonna balance YouTube and Minecraft and all this. Because I love doing both. But with a full time job, that could get kind of interesting. May not have time for much of anything else. It's a problem I love having. Beats the heck out of the alternative. I'm just hoping that while this is work, that I don't get beat the heck out of right off the bat. They told us, they told me business casual. So I'm coming in here in slacks and a shirt. Coming in here in slacks and a button down shirt. But fighting off a cold or sinus issues, whatever. And it's not fun. Jeez, I'm actually gonna melt. See the sunlight. Haven't seen that in a while. I joke. It's all the sunlight all the time. I just wasn't doing anything when I saw it. And by the way, it's uh, 28 degrees out right now. I'll do little updates off and on throughout the day see what uh what comes of today this ought to be good Seven fifteen. It's seven o'clock. I'm here, right on the news. But I will check back in with you later. Well, lunch time. And so far, all it's been is. Safety training, safety briefing, yada yada. But, even though it's kind of repetitive and I've seen most of it before, it wasn't too awful bad. It wasn't as grueling as a lot of them can be. But, I'm being told now though that uh, being thrown in at ankle deep right off the bat is a, uh, would be a serious understatement. From the sounds of it, Looks like they're gonna throw me in chest deep right off the bat. But most of the stuff I already know is just how 
how to do it their way and how to work on their email client and that sort of thing. So it's, it's it could be worse, but we shall see. I'm working. I can't complain. too because uh, I still got friends that work there and that would be bad poor neighbors got in trouble with both of his vehicles the power stroke diesel and his BMW and he's got the big BMW and the parts evidently aren't able to be ordered locally they have to be sent off for and he won't get them for a couple of days yet so looks like I'm gonna help him out give him a lift to work it's not like it's that far but still it's colder than hell out right now just saw a snow flurry. Really? Made me a little run to Subway for my lunch. Got me a nice big steak flatbread sandwich. Kind of found out something interesting this morning though. Um, the city here has actually fallen prey to a rather elaborate virus. Um, FBI has done some investigation on it. I heard it on the news this morning where the virus came in and it's attacking all of their banking information and Basically, the city of Portland has lost $174,000 over the last two weeks, I guess it was. And they've done investigations. The, the email came in as an uh, a, uh, email from the Better Business Bureau, which is a trusted thing, and that was probably the only reason it was actually open. But it actually uh, grabbed all the city's banking information and luckily that was out of from what I understand that was out of the reserves for the city the reserve funds so nothing immediately is going to be affected by that but it still hurts because that's $174,000 it could go for park maintenance or just whatever. Um, I'm not really sure what it is. I haven't seen an email like that myself. But if you get an email that says something about the Better Business Bureau, right, and it's not from betterbusinessbureau.org or bbb.org, don't open it. Do yourself a favor. Just leave it alone. Hit it, put it in your junk pile or delete it because if you actually open the thing you're affected 4 30 in the afternoon 4 30 in the afternoon 
just got off. Remember I told you I thought I saw snow at lunchtime? Turns out I did. And it's starting to, to fall and stick already. Fun stuff. Look at that. Gathering on my windshield. But, anyway, I'm off work. First day's done. Everything went smoothly. Thank God. <coughs> and it looks like I'm going to be driving to work in snow in the morning. It's a good thing I know how to drive in it. And I'm not afraid of it. I just respect it for what it is. But. Yeah. Let's just say I'm not just going to be a network administrator. <laughs> Oh Lord. Yeah, there's a lot involved with this place. I had no idea. Not scared of it. Not objected to doing any of it. I'm actually looking forward to it. But there's a whole lot more to it than what I thought there was when I uh, first learned about the position. I was thinking it would be kind of like IT administrator type position where it's mostly just desktop support and that sort of thing, but no. There's a whole lot more to it than that. And a lot that I got, a lot that I can learn from the position. A lot that I can learn from my neighbor. Since I'm basically working right there beside him. Anyway, that's pretty much it. First day was a good one. Got snow falling now. Um, don't open any emails from uh, Better Business Bureau, unless it's betterbusinessbureau.org, and even then I'd be cautious right now, because from what they said, um, like I mentioned earlier, they've got the FBI on it, and whoever came up with that virus, it's a really, really complex one, and it caused a lot of problems. So, just personally, if I see something in my email box from the Better Business Bureau, they've got no business to be contacting me other than to tell me maybe that my social has been used such and such a place, which wouldn't do anybody any good since I have no credit of any kind. Um, but personally I would just delete any emails from the Better Business Bureau just to avoid that there's not saying that it can't be mutated into something else and then put a different title on the email or whatever but I don't have anything anybody would want to steal anyway I don't believe there's not enough money in any of my accounts to to amount to anything so but anyway that's long and short of my day day number one is in the bag all right thank you guys for watching if this snow and rain and everything hard blowing wind and all that will stop I can get out and do some more repair videos because I tried to start my 89 Silverado the other day and something's up with it it's not spraying the fuel out right so it won't start it just turns over and tries to kill the battery the um, 97 S10 Blazer I have to rerun the fuel lines because they're not in the place they're supposed to be. Uh, my 4x4, I've still got to get an engine hoist, which I think I'm just going to break down and buy one and see if my neighbor will let me keep it in his shop. 
but I think I'm gonna break down and buy one and get that motor yanked out of that 4x4 and get it flipped over so I can get this box out of my back seat finally I've been hauling it around for several months now um, but I'm gonna get that motor swapped out or get the parts on the motor swapped out where I have a good running truck that I can romp around and play with here in the yard and my son's Silverado if he doesn't move on it soon I'll go buy the parts fix it up and put it up for sale I can probably get about two grand for it as good as it runs but that's pretty much it um thank you guys for watching i appreciate each and every one of you and you have a great day